All right, so I hope you're still enjoying it. I um, uh, kind of need to pee too, so I'm going to wrap it up quickly. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you've heard like, everything that we have uh, gone through for the last year, um, especially with the second boot camp, so I'm going to give you a quick snapshot of what we're going to do for this year. So these are all of the uh, in sort of like the milestones of stuff that we want to do. So we, uh, now, now it's my turn to do the weatherman thing. So we want to start monthly, uh, bi no, not monthly, bi-weekly study groups where we just come and meet together. And we'll just follow a book on an online resource and we just learn together. So because uh, how I envision this this um, study group to be like is that like we just we just go to a cafe, take up some seats. We have a coach, and then we just learn. So do join us at our Facebook group because I don't want it to be too big, like 100 people, no, no such cafe we could fit all of us. <laughs> so um, in March, we want to do another tech talk event. This is a purely technical talk featuring female speakers. So this is a way for a woman to really get comfortable you know, sharing their technical knowledge on a stage. Then uh, we're going to do a... Um, the uh, bootcamp info session with the pre-bootcamp workshop. So remember, this for this bootcamp, people had to had to create an app before they could go to the bootcamp to create an app. So um, we're not going to leave you hanging. We actually had a pre-bootcamp workshop to, to teach you the basic skills of creating a very basic app. So this will all happen in April. April, um, April maybe a little bit of early May. Then we're going to coincide with the Red Dot Ruby conference that's happening um, a few days before 24th of June. We're going to do a workshop, a Ruby on Rails workshop, just to get more women uh, learn how to code and also meet all the overseas Ruby programmers who will be coming over. So, I'm tr so I know the creator of the Ruby programming language is going to come to the conference. So I'm going to try and bother him to come. Then June to September, we will be running the boot camp. This time around, the format will change a little bit. So it will, it will, be, it will not be only 10 weeks. Now we're going to do it 12 weeks. And more time, more coding time. But this time, the format changes a little bit as well. We we're planning to have three weeks of every Saturday you come and meet, and then you get one week break and three weeks of instructions again, and one week break. The reason behind it is that we heard feedback from um, the bookend participants that sometimes you just cannot catch your breath, and the next week comes, you have to continue learning. So we thought that we want to try out having this break in between for you to catch your breath a little bit. Then we're going to do another tech talk. For this time around, we want to focus more on front end, just for fun, because we have already done Ruby and also Python. Then we're going to do another of this grad party for the third boot camp. Um, when I put it on the slides, I didn't think it was a lot. But now that I finished talking, it feels like a lot. But we're going to do more. So this time, this year, one of my goal is to go overseas. Um, we uh, have already started marketing for our workshop at Kuala Lumpur. Because what I realized is that when you go out of Singapore, a lot of, a lot of women and girls, they don't get stuff like this at all. So we're going to try and teach everyone how to code. So these are sort of the rough um, timelines. We are also, for the Kuala Lumpur one, we, um, a group of us coaches are going to fly down to coach. So this is also something that you can participate or just come hang out. OK, and that is all from me. So all of you here will automatically get signed up to the newsletter. If you don't like us, you can unsubscribe. I will try not to hate you. But otherwise, do join us at the Facebook group. That's when all the study groups will be posted, because it's sm smaller and more intimate. And oh, yes. So by this time, you should have received an email on, this, on a survey form. Basically, it gives you all the, all the links that we just shared, uh, this link, actually. And also a survey form that you can help us fill out to let me know um, how you find this event and uh, how we can improve for the next one. And that's all from me. Uh, any questions, you can just go. feel free to go directly to the participants, or you can just come to me after my bathroom break. Thank you all for coming. Good night. Bye.